guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. So we did a little update video a while back where we were working on a bunch of stuff on the body and my buddy Ben came by and started helping me with a version two of the headers slash side pipes for the tee. And he and I have been working on this back and forth for actually a little while. His schedule uh, doesn't always match up with mine, so we get a couple hours here and there for him to tinker on it. Uh, I've just been kind of guiding him with the vision that I've had on it. He's been doing a lot of the, um, the hard work of cutting and fitting all the little pieces to get it all to flow around the body. Uh, he's going to bring all those pieces back today, and we're going to hopefully get uh, this whole driver's side all mocked up today and tacked in place, get a little mount made for the back side that will bolt it to where I already had a rubber mount in the body, and uh, we can finally make a decision on how we're going to cut the rear portion of the pipes and, and end the exhaust uh, on the car, and uh, hopefully we'll have a really cool side view by the end of the video. We can get you some kind of a better idea what the silhouette of the car is going to look like. So. Let's get started.
upgrade in line with it. All right, so we got the uh, exhaust all wrapped up. Ben put in a bunch of different days here working on exhaust with me. Uh, I kind of was just taking a look at it and trying to follow my vision. He did a lot of the, uh, all of the hard work of, of cutting all the little pieces and making everything fit really nicely. Everything's kind of tacked in place. Uh, we got a little brace in the back that's tacked up so it's bolted into the frame in the same location that I had used earlier for the original set of headers. The new ones are bitchin', they're awesome. They, uh, they just look super cool. When we had the pipes really long, I was kind of unsure of it, and as soon as we cut them down at this angle, it just gave it such a killer look, and I'm really happy with it. It's a little on the wild side for uh, an early car like this, but if you look at a lot of the old dry lake photos and uh, the photos of the early, like let's say late 40s, early 50s, show cars, show and strip or show and dry lake cars where guys were using them for dual purpose. You did see a lot of guys doing kind of extreme wild exhaust to make their car stand out and for different things when they were testing performance, they thought different types of pipes work better. So I think this kind of uh, pays homage to that. It's just a little higher quality than what they would have done back then. But instead of chroming the pipes like they would have done uh, in the early days when chrome was really inexpensive, we're doing it out of stainless. So uh, Ben's gonna kind of put this on a table and, and fixture it and weld it all up so that it's all you know fully welded. And then he's also gonna give it a little polish that over time it will get some blowing and age to it as we drive the car and it's gonna look awesome. So really psyched with it. Uh, if you guys wanna follow Ben, you can give him a follow on Instagram at Fury of Four, like the number of four. He posts on Instagram quite a lot. He's doing a lot of really cool exhaust and, and tubing builds on all kinds of different stuff. Uh, you guys might appreciate that, so give him a follow. That's all I have for this one. Uh, you guys can uh, subscribe and follow videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays to see everything that's going on. And definitely drop us a comment. Let me know what you think of the new exhaust. Is it better than the old one? Too wild? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.